might be worth it. It might be worth it. Let's see, where are we at? What do we got here? Yes, we are live. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wake Wake Cafe Date. Live stream here with Dave Rylan. I am founder of internationalbadassactivist.org and a co-founder of the Autistic Cooperative. And today we're going to talk about... Oh, there's so much bullshit out there, but we're going to focus on... <laughs> Billy Mann. This fucking sorry not sorry letter I read um, earlier today. Uh, I hadn't seen this one before. Don't remember seeing it before, but it just, uh, wow. It triggered me so uh, pretty heavily. I had to take some time off and manage. So just know that huge heads up. But I'm going to show you one. Um, the video in question that Billy Mann is offering apology to the autism community, autistic community, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I, mean, I believe he means us, but um, the video, and then I will read the uh, sorry, not sorry part that he wrote, and I have shared it on the wall of my page too, if you just want to read it. Uh, and all that on your own, that's great too, but, um, and I am having a bit of a hard time talking today, so, um, Bill's gonna help me out here with some of the reading, and I'm sure add his own commentary as well, because this one's just tough all around, so, ah. that being said, hello, and, um, buckle your seats, I'm going to show you the I Am Autism video commercial um, that was put out by Autism Speaks. So let's do that now. I'll start it from over. I am autism. I'm visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I know where you live. And guess what? I live there too. I hover around all of you. I know no color barrier, no religion, no morality, no currency. I speak your language fluently, and with every voice I take away, I acquire yet another language. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. Your money will fall into my hands, and I will bankrupt you for my own self-gain. I don't sleep, so I make sure you don't either. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. You have no cure for me. Your scientists don't have the resources, and I relish their desperation. Your neighbors are happier to pretend that I don't exist, of course, until it's their child. I am autism. I have no interest in right or wrong. I derive great pleasure out of your loneliness. I will fight to take away your hope. I will plot to rob you of your children and your dreams. I will make sure that every day you wake up, you will cry, wondering who will take care of my child after I die. And the truth is, I am still winning, and you are scared, and you should be. I am autism. You ignored me. That was a mistake. And to autism, I say, I am a father, a mother, a brother. We will spend every waking hour trying to weaken you. We don't need sleep because we will not rest until you do. 
family can be much stronger than autism ever anticipated, and we will not be intimidated by you, nor will the love and strength of my community. I am a parent riding towards you, and you can push me off this horse time and time again, but I will get up, climb back on, and ride on with the message. Autism, you forget who we are. You forget who you are dealing with. You forget the spirit of mothers and daughters and fathers and sons. We are Qatar. We are the United Kingdom. We are China. We are Argentina. We are the European Union. We are, we are the United, United Nations. Nations. We are coming together in all climates. We call on all faiths. We search with technology and voodoo, prayer and herbs, genetic studies, and a growing herbs. awareness you never anticipated. We have had challenges. But we are the best way of coming. We speak the only language that matters. Love for our children. Our capacity to love is greater than your capacity to overwhelm. Autism is naive. You are alone. We are a community of warriors. We, we have a voice. You think because some of our children cannot speak, we cannot hear them? That is autism's weakness. Do you think that because my child lives behind a wall, I am afraid to knock it down with my bare hands? You have not properly been introduced to this community of parents and grandparents, of siblings and friends and school teachers and therapists, pediatricians and scientists. Autism, if you are not scared, you should be. When you came for my child, you forgot. You came for me. Autism, are you listening? So, those of the autistic community, a lot of us are very familiar with that video. When people think of a disease, they think of something. No. <laughs> so, I'm going to drop a link here in the comments. Oh, yeah, this one's hard, Amanda, if you haven't seen it before. Uh, oh, it's astounding. Let me see if I can make that better for you guys. But it's astounding. The um, Oh, I forgot. I just got my new shirt in today. You can get this um, on Nat's Designs on Redbubble. Yeah. I don't know. Can you help me with this so I can show them what it says? Uh, Down. Yeah. <laughs> so right there. Read it to them. Respect the hula hoop. My body is mine. Do not touch me without permission. Ask me how best to comfort me. Imagine there is an invisible hula hoop around me at all times. Do not come closer than the hula hoop. Mind the hula hoop. Sorry, yes. I had no idea if I was actually looking at you while I was reading that. <laughs> So, Nat Lebrun over on Redbubble, Nat Lebrun Designs does a lot of incredible things that support, uh, one, autistic people, because she's autistic, right, and doing all that, and part of the proceeds go to Autism Inclusive Meets over there, the nonprofits in the UK, with Emma Dalmain and others and all the work that they do so it's fabulous I do encourage you all to go check out some of the stuff in this one I asked about and she made special because I got to remind people sometimes as much as I love them there's not always a good time to touch me well we got figured out right um, but I love it isn't that the cutest little bear ah, and a hula hoop I've got great hula hoop stories yeah but that's a different day right now let's talk about Billy Man's apology so, I will start it off, and then Billy, why don't you come help me, because my brain is having a hard time. So, it says, ooh, it looks small, so I'm going to pretend that it's really small and make it bigger. Uh, yeah, okay. To the autism community, this was uh, addressed by Billy Mann says to the autism community and then mentioned self-advocacy so I think he means the autistic community um, and this was posted February 13th so I'm a little late to the game but I also note the date is uh, February 13th 
of this year. So, to the autism community, I owe the autism self-advocacy community an apology. I do, and it's real and heartfelt, and I am compelled to begin this editorial with that, quite simply, first. My apology, well, heartfelt and truthful, is also complex and layered as it is born from a unique perspective that autism self-advocates will not fully understand, and even most parents of a child with autism may not necessarily understand or agree with. God, he opened with the not like my child argument. Was, 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 that, was there an apology in there? I, I don't know. I didn't see one. Link says he owes us an apology. Okay, hold on. We're going to break it down very slowly for me because my brain is slow today. Okay. Let's just look at paragraph one. He owes the autism self advocacy community. Yeah, so he's talking to the autistic community. He's just illiterate about what he's saying. So we'll skip on that. And um, an apology. And then goes on about how the apology he wants to... That he owes us. His heart felt real and whatever, right? And it's so complex and layered that most parents of most autistics... And even those parents of self-advocates, I don't even know what the fuck that means. He raised them, right? Um, <laughs> I have parents of self-advocates, like, that's some special subcategory now. No, we're parents. Like, you know, in sense. Yeah, all right. I see that we're just gonna go to the second paragraph and that bill starts because I just need weed and I don't know where the fuck I put my coffee. So, no apology yet. Maybe we'll find it soon. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it a bit. Okay. No, that's okay. No. Uh oh. Oh, it's not loving this hair at the moment. <laughs> okay. Around 2009, while president of EMI Music, Ooh, look at me. I was yeah. asked to speak at 10 Downing Street in London before then Prime Minister Gordon Brown's wife and many distinguished members of the Prime Minister's cabinet as well as several of the United Kingdom's foremost thought leaders in the autism community. Mm. Notables attending the event varied from renowned Oxford autism researcher Simon Baron Cohen to friend and soon-to-be best director Oscar winner Alfonso Cuaron. Ooh, soon to be best director. Oh, Hollywood, get the fuck out of my health care. Okay, sorry. Also, there were countless political figures as well as several of my music industry colleagues who, up until the event, knew very little of my personal connection to autism. Whoa. As, as a national board member of Autism Speaks... Whoa, wait, hold on again. Wait, 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 wait. A national board member of Autism Speaks? And the president of EMI? Yeah. Okay, who is this guy again? Not autistic is pretty much what I'm getting from him, that he's a not autistic parent of autistic. Music industry, big time. Music executive, songwriter. Bet he's like major sponsorship of Autism Speak since he's on the board mm -hmm. too. Alright. Uh, okay, so if Autism Speaks then, a relatively young but fast growing not for profit charity which has truly moved the needle for the majority of the autism community. It was one of the- I'm sorry, can we go back and talk about young and fast growing? How does young and fast growing go from $25 million investment from Bernie Marcus, you know, guy of Home Depot, the owner, and a $10 million investment startup in this nonprofit from, what was it, SheStack from Cure Autism now. So you have $35 million small startup. Let's just be correct here, 35 million startup. Oh, and a merger of five, I think five, autism organizations into one. So, let's be really clear about the power behind the voice here. A little grassroots organization. Kiss my ass. Speaking of the power behind the voice, it was one of the organization's co-founders, Bob and Suzanne Wright, who asked Billionaires, by the way. Billionaires. Schedules and... Aligned so that not only would I be in London at the time of this event, but my wife Gina would also be there. 
on a high speed train from Paris. Was there an apology in that Wait. section? No, 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 no apology so yet. So you, you okay. scanned it quickly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Next paragraph, no apology of, yet. I'm the president of EMI Music. I'm president friends, EMI friends has with not the apologized prime minister. Yet. I have lots of uh, but he wants to explain Hollywood something. directors and friends, but no apology yet. But, he, but he's trying to explain. So we'll give him some time. Give him the benefit of the doubt. We're on what, we're we're there. 600 words now? <clears throat> Where are we at? Okay. On a high-speed train from Paris to London, I was going over my... Not remarks. just a train, but a high... Was he writing a fucking memoir? On a high-speed train? Okay, go ahead. I was going Everyone's over my... Everyone's got their own way. I was going over my remarks. It was boring. Surprise there. Filled with all of the issues, rising statistics, and daunting costs that autism families faced. It was very, not to offend my British friends, English. It read more like a librarian's welcome from an episode of Downtown Abbey than words to move leaders to action and, moreover, illustrate the depth and complexity of being a father of a severely autistic child. Whoa! The stark truth for my wife and me... Wait, was there an apology in there? No, no. Um, it was, I suck at writing a speech. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's oh, the and, and, I, and I have a severely autistic child. Amanda, if you're in the house, can you bullet point this maybe for us? Because I think so far we have introduction mm -hmm. and a wish to apologize. Right. And where are we at now? We're at, uh, by the way, I have a severely autistic child. Oh, yes. We already, oh, we started. We opened with the not like my child argument. And now, now we're we going, know why. Yeah, now we know why. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. A severely autistic child. The stark truth for my wife and me was that our oldest son, Jasper's autism, was overwhelming us and becoming increasingly more challenging for everyone. Where were most, they parking that Most day? importantly, it was increasingly challenging for Jasper himself. Wait, hold on, go back. So it was overwhelming us, me. becoming increasingly more challenging for everyone. Me, 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 the whole fucking and, world. And oh yeah, on a side note. Everybody's fucking affected. Although again. I must say, most importantly, it was increasingly challenging Oh, for but Jasper. let's not forget Jasper. Today, there are some new television programs that have begun to articulate the various hues and degrees... Oh, wait, I didn't hear an apology yet. No, nope, not yet. Okay. Just uh, checking. The, the various hues and degrees of autism, for example, atypical and a good doctor. But our little guy's autism was not overflowing... Wait, 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 hold on. What were the shows he mentioned? Atypical and the good doctor. Well, who brought us those fucking shows? Autism Speaks. I swear to God, they have an... Aut Festival in Southern California that Bob Wright shows up and hands out the fucking autism Emmys. It's a whole grand autistic, non autistic event. It's fucking fabulous. Don't use the fuck you, Billy Man. Hey, use Autism Speaks bullshit against us. <laughs> but our little guy's autism. His oh, autism. wait. You got special kind. Like Not like my child's autism. He carries around with him. His autism. I swear to God, he needs the martyr parent bingo card. We've got it going. But our little guy's <laughs> autism was not overflowing with card counting savant characteristics that we could reach, or the gentle rocking back and forth autonomous behavior from which the term autism was in part born somewhere in Austria. Oh, wait, is he segregating? No, 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 no. Wait, no. do we have a segregationist amongst the midst? My son's autism was, and is, sometimes very dark, and involves screaming, energy bursts, sibs, which are self-injurious behaviors like hitting oneself, sleeplessness, repetitive patterns of all kinds, echolalia, repeating sounds <gasps> words over and over again. Not the echolalia! Apraxia, and the list goes on. Not apraxia, on. but the echolalia, the echolalia, the echolalia! coming for us. Our son was born into the world on a warm summer day and he crawled and babbled and giggled and walked and developed. Were he born? Typically. Until he didn't. <laughs> From the moment he was born we loved and loved him completely and wholly but these challenges are not easy for him or the many who love him. Oh, me, 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 um, me. Okay, so life is really, it. really hard it, for it's us because of our Parents. autistic son. Let me be clear. It's not easy okay. being a parent. We, we all know that. And it's not easy parenting. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But it's no apology blessing. yet. And he really hasn't said what he's got to apologize for. Right. I'm still not sure. We're just yeah. going on a path. Right. A mer merriment. So, let's see. Two and, quote, 
autism self-advocate. Are we quote. following a bread trail to like the candy house where the witch lives inside and wants to put us in the oven? Because I'm starting to feel like we're following bread. Is, is that like the right image? That's what I'm feeling like. At the end, we're just going to get put in the oven. So to an autism self-advocate, I think she means he means you. Oh, wait, what kind of advocate? An autism self-advocate. An autism self-advocate. That okay. is, one who has an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis and also has the depth, talent, articulation, analytical and emotional gifts to deploy in order to stand up for the rights of individuals with autism. Deploy! We're gonna deploy this shit! Some of what I will write here may not be easily digested. Oh no, but I don't want to eat it either, so fuck off. But I'm going to try to express myself as honestly wait, as... Wait, 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 wait. Is the apology in there? Did I miss it? No. And, and, I got too excited. I was talking over and, you. And, and, and if... Usually when you say something like, you may not understand what I'm going to say, you're usually about to say something that merits an apology. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, so, you may no, not... he hasn't said yet, no, but he's but you know, you know what for. I hear? You know what I hear from, from people, especially when I'm out in public and they don't understand that I can understand them? I hear, but you, oh, you, mis, you must have misunderstood. That is, like, the number one fucking thing that people say to people they think are disabled and cannot understand to gaslight them and do whatever the fuck they want, by the way. So, gaslighting galore, I just, that pisses me off. It's, I have so much experience with caregiver abuse and gaslighting and the bullshit and bing bing, the fucking bing, red flag. Sorry, but where's the apology? Uh, and he still hasn't quite said what he's going to apologize for, although the kind of preface leads me to believe that what he's about to say is going to require another apology. Just a thought. I remember one of our first scary incidents was when we lived in an apartment building in Manhattan. Jasper was only a crawling baby, and we discovered that, like many kids on the autistic spectrum, he was a flight risk. He's never called. I, you know, I, I've never heard of a... That's fascinating. I've never heard of a non-autistic kid that was a flight risk. You know, because... You mean neurotypical kids are never... No, autistic. apparently. They, they never take off. It's only or non-autistic autistic kids. It's that only autistic, autistic kids that, only that autistic. tend to wander. Huh, I wouldn't strange. have any parenting experience. So ever. anyway, so he discovered that, uh, like many kids on the autistic spectrum, he was a flight risk. And one day, he simply vanished from our apartment. Oh, been there, done that before. That's terrifying, but it happens. Our babysitter had apparently turned around for a moment, and he was gone. Thankfully, one of the men who worked in our building found Jasper in the emergency stairwell half a dozen floors down from the back exit in our kitchen. Good God, that just... That's hard. Uh, that is scary. That I'll, is I'll give the guy that. terrifying. Oh, yeah. That is terrifying. That's but <clears throat> autism and some of, some of the unique safety risks were starting to reveal themselves to us. What the hell does that have to do with autism? I don't know, but I lost my son a lot of places. We had to put a double locked door bolt on the doors because he was so quiet and good. And um, I had some very, very scary experiences. And then... I have another autistic child who was so fast, so, so, so incredibly fast, that uh, you simply just did not have any unattended visual space time for many years until he was much older. But I think... And I wouldn't have left him with the babysitter either. But I can't imagine... Just because I, I don't trust I, him to understand him. I would, bet, I would bet almost every parent has, has that kids. story of that one breathtaking moment where they think they lost their kid. Oh, well, and you can't you, find you their kid. Your typical kid. Yeah, and yeah I, every parent has that story. Uh, so, okay, so. But, but yeah. it was autism that made that happen, that almost stole his child that day. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't quite get the full capacity of that. So, so but no apology. No, nothing to mm -hmm. apologize for yet either. Or he's, he hasn't said what he's apologizing for yet. Anyway, we're never going to get through this book he wrote. My wife and I went from being an untouchably happy newlywed couple, having our first baby in our first home, to confronting a vague, confusing ASD diagnosis that no one seemed to be able to define for us. Thank God for Autism Speaks, 
which today provides a host of free tools for families, including a first 100-day kit for parents Stop. facing Hold a diagnosis. Stop. Hold on a second. I thought you had to pay for the 100-day kit. I thought that wasn't free. Can someone find out for me? Because I would love to know and have that clarified. But yeah, the 100-day kit that promotes ABA. A super, super early intervention. Pump up that market. All right, keep going. Plus, there are support lines for people who really need it. Walks and events. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Autistic people and families of autistics, have you ever called that support line and got actual support? <laughs> oh, we've got stories for years. You know what we get? We get junk mail if we call that number. I, I, I'm imagining you in the middle of an autistic meltdown. Oh, hold on. Stop. I've got to call a phone support line when What's you that? can't use the phone on a daily basis normally. <laughs> oh gosh please do go on uh, okay so autism speaks is so wonderful they have support lines for people who need it walks and events that shine light on research and oh a blue light on what kind of research come on autistics non-autistics those who are in know tell me what kind of research are they shining that blue light on mm. Mm, let's just gloss over that fucking shit research employment community and more but, at the time, we were hydroplaning emotionally, and when the developmental psychologist- Whoa! I have never hydroplaned emotionally. Is that because I'm autistic? Have you ever hydroplaned emotionally? Can't say. I can't say that I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know. D d d we were hydroplaning emotionally, and when the developmental psychologist told us that Jasper may be severely impacted by autism and may never live independently, I watched Gina stumble down the hallway to our bedroom, curl up in a ball, and sob. And we were, and, and I'm not knocking the lady. I won't, and we were both helpless. Right. And my angel of a son sat beatifically unaware. Rosy cheeks and pink lips, big brown eyes staring into space, and his only word was... Uh, he's a baby! What else is he going to say? This, oh wait, hold on. I'm sorry, but does this guy think he's a writer too? Is this what passes as writing for the guy for EMI? And no one told him different? <laughs> I, I think a copy editor had on it, but they didn't tell him that you do. Don't, don't do that. So the autism it's caused his terrible infant. writing on top of it. It's insulting. So the autism called it, caused his infant after hearing from the developmental psychologist Gah. to go, Gah. Mine made me fart, but okay. Autism. Or the autism or... made me do it. Whatever. <laughs> but oh back my... to the speech and life. God, I'm sorry. But, oh, maybe the go was the apology from the child to the rest of us. <laughs> but back to the speech in London. So on the train from Paris to London, I read my boring, quote, downtown Abbey speech to myself, and I looked at Gina, and I said, I can't read this. It says nothing. I'm just spewing facts and stats that these people already know. It Which people? What people? It won't move anyone to see the urgency. It doesn't capture any of what we experienced when Jasper was diagnosed, or the actual grief you can feel for the loss of what you thought your child's health was going to be. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did someone just mention autistic health? Say it again. The actual grief you can feel for the loss of what you thought your child's health was going to be. Oh, whoa, someone changed his line. Because it used to not be autistic health. Wow. Did you, did you see that little slippery fucking... Because I'm hearing the echo. Talk about echolatia. I'm hearing echo of autism speaks verbiage changed slightly. Let me... Notice his concern's not actually his child's health. It's his loss for what he thought it would be. It's not my poor kid's going to have poor health. It's, I'm heartbroken because, poor me, I've got a broken heart because my child might have poor health. See the distinction? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know, but maybe just talk to somebody in the disability community, anybody in the disability community, and maybe you could have found some damn hope. We were on our own and suffering, and unlike most families, we were advantaged and living in the most sophisticated city in America. If privilege, you have, it's okay, so you're privileged. If you ask you any it. parent who has been in our shoes, including the parents of self-advocates... Wait! I gotta sit down. 
What did he just say? If you ask any parent who has been in our shoes, including the parents of self-advocates. What's he got to say? That I never was in his fucking shoes? Right. I'm sorry, hold on. Did you just say parents of self-advocates insinuating we were never, ever in your fucking shoes? Because our children are self-advocates. So I would argue the parents did their job, right? Guess what? Some autistics got parents who actually knew how to support their children. How fucking dare you? Talk about my kids like this. Because my kids are self-advocates too. And I'm a fucking parent. And an autistic parent of autistic self-advocates. Oh my god, I could never play a violin to the loudness of this man's fucking tragedy violin. Holy shit. And we're the ones that live it. Oh my god, okay. I think this might be just where I'm gonna lose this it and let you talk. This is good. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, it's a relative term. Uh, let's see. Uh, asking anybody that's been in our shoes, I believe they will tell you an autism diagnosis can tear families apart. The divorce rate is significantly. This might as well be cut and paste from the damn video. The divorce rate is significantly higher. The bankruptcy rate is significantly higher. States are cutting aid, and the number of children being diagnosed has exploded. Uh, this one drives me nuts. With only a fraction reflected by greater identification of the order. Um, that's exactly mm -hmm. why the number of diagnoses have exploded, is because they've greater identified. Ah. Okay, hold on. You cannot say the numbers have exploded and then segregate all of us that blew up the numbers for you. More than that. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Who are you talking to? You don't even know who your demographic is here. Right? Because you want to talk about autistic numbers exploding. Well, the numbers exploded. Not because of, not like my child argument. Those weren't the numbers that exploded. Yes. It was a change. Wow. You guys are arguing against your own fucking shit. It's unbelievable. You can't even get it straight in your apology. And, and now yeah, there's some merit to part of this here, but more than Oh, and that, by the way, autism never failed me in my marriages. It didn't cause my parents to get a divorce um, when I was young, and my autism never caused any of my divorces, and it sure as fuck didn't cause um, me to get married, but it sure as fuck did cause some autistic children to be born. All right, let's get back to it. More than that, autism doesn't stop at 18. In fact, the majority of services and scaffolding, as limited as it is, that our public schools do try and provide at what is referred to as the cliff after high school. Unemployment for individuals with autism is over 70%. We know! We fucking live it! You're not helping! And the number one most haunting thought every parent of a child with severe autism thinks every day is who will care for and protect my child when we are gone. We... You fucking idiots! You ganked all the money out of our community, so there's nothing out here for when you're fucking dead. Your children will be homeless. They will be incarcerated for care. They will be abused and murdered, and they will die by suicide, you fucking twant! Pure and simple. How do I convey this in a speech? How do I express the emotion and the urgency of my experience as a father? Oh, the fucking emotion! And on top of this, I am a songwriter, not an amateur songwriter either. I write songs for the biggest artists in the world. Who gives a fuck? What? You still don't belong in my community. Step the fuck out and get in your own lane, bitch. What kind of musicless song will this be? So I wrote, I am autism. Oh, wait, all oh, that wait, just to tell me you're the that writer. That is what he's saying he's got to apologize for. He has no apology to... yet, okay. but I think we so. We have no fucking apology yet. But now we know why he wants to apologize to us. Remember the video? I showed you that poem he wrote. That's what he wants to try and apologize to us for. So all that fucking preamble, here we go. All right, so I am autism. 
I am autism, it's dark. But it was intended to leave the listener hopeful. Without realizing or certainly intending it, I am autism would become a jagged knife to the heart of many in the autism community. I created this poem purely from my personal perspective as a father with a son with severe autism. To us, autism was a thief in the night who stole our once babbling happy son from us. To us, autism applied economic pressures on us even as my career was blossoming. Autism, apparently it didn't hurt his career too bad. <laughs> Holy sh I just hear me, me, He's me, a head me, producer me, me. at EMI. Talking. Not doing too bad there. Well, when you get to a certain level, and, people stop and, telling you when you're writing. Wait, sucks. he's still married, right? I have no idea. Well, according to his article, he is. Um, oh, wait, did autism didn't divorce him? Yeah, he's still got family relationships. And Should I have listed that in my filing when I got divorced? Well, I'm just saying, you keep saying autism is going to take fault. all this stuff away from you when I don't know, he's going to be doing pretty well for himself. Good for him. Anyways, to us, because they rolled the autism of dismantled, tested, crumbled friendships and family relationships. Oh, oh okay, shit. I guess it is pretty well, rough. Well, it's called isolation and otherness, but um, autism applied economic pressures on us, even as my career was blossoming. At the time, did not feel like a gift to us. It was a cacophony of screaming, persevering, pers no, 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 perseverating, and alienation imposed on us. Autism sucked. Remember. When we were having family dinner and mom was talking about when one of my kids, he couldn't go anywhere because he would just scream the whole way. It was years before he could manage more than a short ride in the car. Mm -hmm. um, he was suffering for it. I wasn't, I mean, yes, it was hard for all of us, especially a lot of us autistic ones in the car already have sensory issues, right? But, um, what the fuck? What is that? You accommodate it and make it work. And you meet the needs of your child, no matter. I, I don't understand why my life would be ruined for my child doing something like that. It makes no sense. So autism sucked and we wanted a cure. We prayed for a cure. We didn't sleep because our son didn't sleep. And every waking hour was and is spent worrying about his safety after our lives end. So on that high-speed train, I wrote, I am autism. At 10 Downing Street, again, don't forget, he's meeting the Prime Minister. Oh, he's meeting the Prime Minister? Oh, self-inflation. I am autism had I am somebody. Listen to me. I am autism had the impact I had hoped for. Or so I thought. I held the microphone and read the poem, and everyone cried. Everyone. And British people are not typically ones to cry publicly, in my experience. Me, 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 me. And my emotions were stirred, as I read, because it was so dark, and at the time, very much my truth. And it should be noted me. that the second half of this poem was quite optimistic that the specialists and advocates and therapies and families would push back on the dark force of autism and the dark force of autism. The dark autism. force of autism. Did he already know about the autistic dark web? ADW. I'm just hearing Darth Vader. Ooh. Darth Vader. Release the hate. Release And meet the challenges for our kids. Release the hate and meet the challenges for our kids. I felt the, energy, the kind of energy release that one gets from a confessional. Later that night... A confessional? Was, yeah, he's equating his poem to a confessional. Wait, I've never actually been in a confessional because I'm not Catholic, but I don't really know what that feels like. Isn't that where you say what you do wrong? I don't know. Later that night, there was a private dinner <laughs> hosted by Bob and Suzanne Wright. Oh, it's Su shut up. Yes. I gotta level up. Fuck dude. Suzanne, whose grandson is severely autistic, was such a fierce advocate for the autism community. We're going to get through this. The world needs to hear this, Billy, she passionately <laughs> told me. In retrospect, I remember Simon Baron going, gently suggesting we pause and reflect on it. He said, might the high-functioning autistics take offense to this notion? He asked softly. But the momentum was Suzanne's, and if you knew Suzanne right, then she put her engine into gear, you best get out of the way. Wait, whoa, oh, huh? Go so, back, go slow. So, apparently... There was some common sense, or at least a flicker of sense in the wilderness, when Simon Baron Cohen gently suggested that they pause and reflect on it, saying, might the high-functioning autistics take offense to this notion? But the momentum was Suzanne's, and if you knew Suzanne right, then when she put her engine into gear, you best get out of the way. Oh, we know. We got silenced. 
by you have the silencing machine and his apology. He's admitting to it right there. Right fucking there, folks. They can't admit to it, but he admits to it without admitting to it. So, like, he apologizes without apologizing. Well, Is that where we're at? No apology, yeah. A lot of explanation. Fuck. So, by dinner's end... Welcome to Autistic Healthcare. Thanks, Billy Man. So, by dinner's end, she had recruited Alfonso and me to collaborate. Autism Speaks would help produce a little video, and we would use footage of oh, families... Oh, a little video that still fucks us over today, but okay, it's been a of families nice wearing white t-shirts and jeans. It was done. We would share I Am Autism, and it would move people to action. An Oscar and Grammy-nominated duo would create it. <coughs> and with Suzanne... Hollywood De Autism, Hollywood Autism, we got show business in here. With Suzanne's intensity and focus... Drama! Like a, tragedy! It somehow Better happened. than Clue! But the response was not what Suzanne or any of us had envisioned. Oh, apparently, except for Simon Baron Cohen, who said, uh, hello, guys, might not Hi. be a good idea. You might not want to segregate a human population into whatever categories you think are benefiting your services and whichever ones you think benefit rotting in fucking hell. But thanks. Some, from some parents, there was praise, and from some, there was outrage. I am autism. Wait, hold on. What do you think I am at? Praise or outrage? They say autistics cannot understand each other's emotions, and we don't have empathy, but I, uh, let's see, I don't know. How am I feeling right now? Praise or outrage? So how does this work? We either have empathy and emotion, or we fucking don't. What is he saying? Mm. Which one? From parents. You guys are oh crazy. oh from the parents they didn't give a fuck about autistics who were already protesting their shit I know I remember I am autism went from galvanizing the autism community to act and conquer this disorder to a dagger in the disorder to a dagger in the heart of a healthy segment of the community and being perfectly honest at the time I just didn't get it I just didn't for because us, you're an ableist taunt, motherfucker. For us, autism was so jarring, so overwhelming. Our sleepless friends with autistic children who wiped their feces on Our their... sleepless friends with autistic children. Oh my god, it's echoes of fucking Suzanne right over there on the Capitol. We need a plan. Why don't we have a plan? Our sleepless friends with autistic children who wiped their feces on their bedroom walls night after night said thank you to me. Our friends who... Oh, wait, wait. Just those friends. Um, sensory-seeking behavior you're exploiting and all of that stuff. Go check out Emma Delmain. Go check out Autism Inclusive Meets. Go check out all that information. If you have families out there who need actual support and real information on these kinds of things, go check out there. Because you're so full of it. You don't... Uh, you're making it a shock show. You're making it like a freak show. And there are actual reasons and things about this. Oh, wow. Wow. Our friends whose children were a flight risk said thank you to me. Random parents and educators wrote to me thanking me with tears in their eyes for getting it and for saying the truth of their pain and struggle. But there were others who were not so pleased. And Autism Speaks was under a fierce attack. Alfonso and I were under attack too. Even a couple of Autism Speaks board members protested how awful this was. Oh, which ones were those? And the most violent pushback came from the self-advocates. The most violent pushback came from autistic people themselves. What? Self-advocates? No, autistic people. Whoa, 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 hello. Hi, autistic minority, autistic people. What did you do? Most notably of those self-advocates, Ari Newman, or Ari, I'm going to Ari. Carry, kill his last name too, Ari Neiman. They. Uh-huh. I think they did it for now. Oh. I'm not sure. Most notably, Ari, <clears throat> whom President Obama had appointed to help represent the autism community in the White House. So the person whom the president appointed to represent the, the as autistic, he says, the autism community, the autistic was one of the most of the notable autistic community pushbacks on his video. 
should that ring a bell? Should that have lit in a light bulb or something? Wow, you're trampling on civil and human rights, motherfucker. You think, what the hell? I'm a privileged, ableist. What the fuck, you twant? Back then, being entirely honest, I was livid. If an individual, and, and, and you yeah, gotta bear living. with me a lot, a lot of your viewers and readers. He's gotta have read it. Got a grasp of this already, and this is kind of clicked it for me, so. I'm gonna try and behave. <laughs> but being entirely honest, I was livid. If an individual has the ability to live independently, show up to work, emote, express, analyze, evangelize, give public speeches, and attend college and then engage in public policy, what could he know about my son's autism? That's not autism, I thought. That's autism light. So God forbid any person who has autism be able to, I don't know, speak coherently? I have an opinion and uh, a thought. I my, mean, I... My, my son can barely speak. My son took seven years to learn how to swim back and forth in a pool. My son is 16 and needs a storyboard to follow every time he has to wash himself. I'm sure he loves the world knowing about that. How on earth can a fully functioning autistic person speak for us? Moreover, how can they claim to speak for him? And that's when it clicked for me. There's two autistic groups of people that they see. There's high functioning <clears throat> autism light who never have any problems and life is perfect for. And there's... And they created severely that autistic. stereotype, by the way. It's and their then, stereotype. And then they're severely autistic who can't function in day-to-day -day society or have any really usefulness in life. We got A and it, there, there's nothing in between, although, you know, although you can be perfectly well conversed and hold a lengthy conversation and come off almost as intelligent as you are, there's other moments where you can't get a word out edgewise and... I look very disabled intellectually as well, and people, well, so people treat you then. Which one do you fit in? Are you, are you the, the low-functioning, severely autistic that has no usefulness to the world? Or are you, you know, not really autistic because you can speak a coherent sentence? Uh, anyways, I'm sorry. Uh, back to the point. Never mind, I don't have any idea of what autistics do over a lifespan and how it affects us so, in terms of how... Our comorbidities work and our um, commonality things like EDS. <laughs> oh, Robert, <laughs> lots of them, like taste great, less feeling. No shit, we have our own. We need our own food nonprofit now. So, meanwhile, the self advocates fought back, asking the same: How can autism speaks speak for us? We are a distinct minority among the 70 million individuals on the spectrum. You got our numbers wrong, too. But are we contaminated human beings possessed by evil, they asked? Adults who have social quirks and challenges, who make noises and have complex associated disorders that we have to self-regulate and manage day after day while trying to, get, while trying to feel normal and, accept, and accepted. How can you speak for us? So, you, so that's all you've got to deal with. You, you, you have social quirks and challenges. You make noises and have complex associated disorders. I'm sorry. Was there an apology yet? I'm still waiting. I, I just forgot. I forgot. This is supposed to be an apology. That's right. Thanks for that reminder. Right? <coughs> I was feeling like it was a hit. And I didn't get it. It feels more like a hit. Another fucking hit. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And his his article goes on. His. But he's dead. Sorry. Wait, still waiting for the apology. And I didn't get it until our younger son, Felix, was diagnosed with autism too. Except Felix can talk and laugh and play and learn guitar and taught himself Spanish, literally, and at a specious glance, appears neurotypical. He don't look autistic. He can laugh and talk. He can be human. Is that as how a, he's... Like, as as a faith-based person, I realize that God clearly had more for me to learn. Jesus. Autism is a snowflake disorder, and no two kids are exactly the same. You're a fucking snowflake. Even if they may share similar characteristics. Should Autism Speaks, a truly inclusive or umbrella organization, choose, for lack of a better description, aside, is one kind of autism really better or worse than another? 
and really worse in today's environment where cyberbullying has been weaponized by 12 year olds and political leaders. Should the community's largest charity ignore one segment of this growing population autism more than the other? Autism speaks weaponized slurs and insults on the autistic community. It's their fucking fault that we have so much hate. What the fuck is this man saying? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. And let's see. Wow. Do, 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 do. Felix's future adult independence has yet to be clear, but we are optimistic. Even as we know, Jasper will never be independent. Is this survival of the optimist, uh, autismist? Uh, it, 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 very pop ups. Um, and, and I realize that after years of caring, not caring, rationalizing, and spinning, I am autism. Uh, I am autism was not my best, most balanced moment. Who, who fucking cares about you? Who cares about you? That, that, who cares about you? What about what you did to us is, with is, that? Is that is that coming to an apology? It wasn't my best moment. Not your best fucking moment. No, I don't. Autistics have apology, died yeah. underneath this fucking shit, it but was, not your best fucking moment. But it was honest. But should it have been highlighted as anything more than just that? A dad in pain expressing his unique autism experience. Today, I know that I was wrong, and I do hurt knowing that I should. Oh, wait. You still don't uh, get wait. it. I, I know that I was wrong, and I do hurt knowing that should my other son, Felix, read that poem, given his struggle with communication subtleties, might he think I love him less? Typing these words alone fill me with shame, and in an instant I am enlightened, humbled, and grateful to the self-advocacy community for never letting up. Lip service which, fucking bullshit. Obviously, you're not letting up. While I grieved the loss of my traditional expectations of fatherhood, they stood up without me for the value and dignity of my two sons. You're just a straight up fucking That I had to much. catch up. And I have. Perhaps only the father of two children, each uniquely autistic, could be swayed to understand how far the diagnostic pendulum can swing. And like most challenges each of us face, this paradox was tailor-made for me. You, you, me, 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 me. The whole thing is all about me. Okay, but he's a martyr parent. Yeah, yeah, he is saying, but maybe he's learned. He's, I've come to this light bulb realization. Well, I didn't read so any of that coming up to, in the 20 paragraphs leading up to this paragraph, I still it, haven't got it, that. It had, nothing sounded like there was a light bulb moment for is him. He, is he having the light bulb moment right now while writing this? Possibly. Okay, so maybe it's, it's happening on. right now. Okay, I need to calm down. <clears throat> Give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I'm just, I'm triggered. My PTSD is fucking fired. This is just, what the fuck? So, Team. I'm gonna sit back. I'm trying to head. Good luck. <laughs> I've read ahead. <laughs> Do you hear him? <laughs> I am proud to say that Autism Speaks has largely been transformed. From what to what? Like any big organization or startup, it is a constant work in progress that ideally fails quickly with a misstep and wins slowly and strongly when things go well. <coughs> what? What kind of woo-woo bullshit? The, I hear woo-woo. Is charity, that woo-woo coming out? That sounds yeah, like something I, I don't typically. know what that means. It's a constant work in progress. Ideally fails quickly with a misstep and then wins slowly and strongly. Wait, so, is he poetic here? Because you're not a poet either. I'm sorry. It's okay, but I think the people who work for you think your parents think, are too too big for them to tell you your writing sucks. I think he's trying to go with a and similar... And this, this is poetry? Bad. The, the, the giant ship analogy that a little speedboat can turn a lot faster than the giant behemoth charity. And so, yeah, they may screw up, but it takes time to get this behemoth turned. Oh, we, 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 yeah, we that's, screwed that's, up. I'm trying to read in between the lines. We here. screwed Bear up? Me. Yeah, you screwed up. Let's start there. That's a lot to read in between those lines, but I think that's what he's saying. I don't know. It's really hard. You know, he says he understands autism shit, but he can't speak to us for shit either. The charity lost the indefatigable... Is he fucking long is? Where's my fucking bullet points? The charity lost the indefatigable co-founder Suzanne Wright suddenly to pancreatic cancer and has wisely taken the period of grief as an opportunity for self-reflection. Do not use someone's death, you fucker that is not fair trying to avoid doing because i didn't want to do the same thing but yeah he did it in one sentence 
The wow. media savvy power broker leadership had to change from Susan. Wow. They had to change from Suzanne and her husband to 50 years, Bob Wright, the legendary GE and NBC that was mogul chairman. That was ultimate martyrdom right there, and I, you don't invoke that shit. Wow. So they replaced the leadership from Suzanne and her husband, Bob Wright, who was the legendary no GE moral compass and NBC all. Universal mogul and chairman, to a more soft-spoken leadership, real estate mogul and autism dad, Brian Kelly, whose mantra and focus is purely about serving every facet of the autism community, from those who see autism as a blessing to those who see it as a tragedy. Great! They've had this wonderful change of reference, and they're going to suddenly stop focusing on, like, genetic research and, and no, nothing eugenics to, to helping figuring out how to help support adults. That's what he said, right? So let's see what they've done. Is that a cricket? I'm not sure. I'm hard of hearing. I can't always yeah, hear them. I'm, I'm, yeah. But I swear. It's I, I, I swear it was. It, there must have been one. Then. So Autism Speaks has illuminated this neurological disorder more brightly than anyone could have imagined, and the organization deserves positive credit. That blue puzzle piece, which I wear often and proudly, so much so that I have a puzzle piece tattoo on my left wrist solidified the color and symbol for Families Autism Awareness Month. Oh, wait. Solidified the color and symbol for families. I think I'll just continue. Autism Awareness Month, World Autism Awareness Day, April 2nd, sanctioned by the UN. I remember Suzanne Wright coming up with the idea to light the world up blue, and in only a couple of years today, thousands of the world's most iconic landmarks and buildings are lit up blue around the globe to promote acceptance, understanding, and awareness. I'm Aut sorry, but wait, where was Autism Speaks at this year's UID? This year at the UID, where was Autism Speaks? Where was our fucking lighted up blue? Come back and tell me when you find out. Autism Speaks has raised, lobbied for, and helped deploy over a billion dollars. Applied behavioral analysis, you fuckers. In funding for research and education and research and vaccines causing autism, you fuckers. And done so in working in a bipartisan fashion at home and in an inclusive fashion overseas. As long as you got money, honey, we'll take you. But autism remains complex and is too often thought of as a children's disorder, when in fact our children with autism become teenagers with autism, adults with autism, and elderly people with autism. Oh. Fuck, you told the world we could get cured. Now you understand we got elders. Wow, that is big. That is a huge involvement. So so they acknowledge That's that there's... Deep. So, so Autism Speaks now acknowledges that there are autistic adults. Because we're pwning them. But that's really basically so far all they've said that Autism Speaks has done differently, right? Okay, just check. And you should like them because they like you now. You should like them because they like you now. Just forget everything that they ever did. Do forget we... about all your peers and how they suffered under the big blue light. Do we need a cure? Well, that debate is not for this piece. In other words, I ain't touching that one with a 10-foot pole because people like Eve will come and crucify me. And that's a not sorry. That's yes, an no apologist. Apologies. That is not like my child, and that is, I am not apologizing at all. I'm saying a lot of fucking words that mean nothing right now. Okay. Um, I mean, that's why I'm mad. Did I get it wrong? No. no. I mean, I think if you ask the family who are severely impacted, who face the financial associated health challenges, such as seizures, GI, gastrointestinal challenges, immune deficiencies, etc. Wait, wait, now, hold on. Wait, wait. Like what? Seizures. Okay, seizures. Gastrointestinal challenges. Oh, shit. Not immune those. deficiencies. Three. And practical hardships. I think that, yes, they would welcome a cure. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. Wait, what, which one of those... Which one of those do... And, and I'm just going to... Let my husband answer that. Of those, which one of those do I, I, I have to deal with in my health? Which one of those? Practical hardships. 
Well, you got four out of four, baby. Oh, four out of uh, four. Unless you count etc., then I think you got five out of five. Oh, it was more than etc. Et but but you can correct me if I'm wrong. But these health issues such as seizures, gastrointestinal issues, immune deficiencies aren't caused by autism. It's not autism. That's um, that would be caused by seizures, gastrointestinal challenges, and immune deficiencies. Okay, just checking. So, the, the, uh, I think that yes, they would welcome a cure. Yeah, I, I'd love a cure to your seizures. Um, Hi. Hello. Maybe a cure to your immune deficiencies and gastrointestinal challenges would be great. But that has nothing to do with your autism. Okay, just checking. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fifteen percent of ASD people have epilepsy, compared to one percent of typical people. 49% are at risk for wandering. Oops. But now I'm in a wheelchair, so it's a little bit harder. Bill has to push me, and that cured that. <laughs> Kudos to... No, I, I wonder what percentage strip off their clothes in public in the middle of a meltdown. Been there, done that. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's true. I um, mean, I don't know what this guy's going on about. Kudos, and, and this is what I'm curious about. Kudos to Autism Speaks for pushing for Avante's Law. Do you have any idea what Avante's Law is? Fuck off. Let's just move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just can't even... All right. If you ask the self-advocacy community, they don't want to be cured and find the notion offensive. You mean you would find the notion that you're defective and need a cure offensive? I can't imagine why, my dear. And you're going to categorize Autism 1, Autism 2, Autism 3, which of us... Yeah, I love that. That hierarchy is something else. Isn't that just like, which one of you is more human than the other? That's utter bullshit, so which one do I fall in? There's no such fucking thing, mm -hmm. Bill. It's just for... It, there's no such fucking thing. They want to be included accepted and embraced as a critical voice in every dialogue that is associated with the disorder and fully embraced everywhere. Wait, hold on a well, second. Well, no shit. You, you, you're saying that I want to be accepted as a human and have basic human rights and um, my inalienable rights as an American still apply to me because I'm an autistic American. They didn't fucking disappear, Billy man. What does he think happens? Oh, the wandering quota today. <laughs> Amanda's lesson. Oh, <laughs> level dungeon master. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's see, where were we? Um, so, for some insane reason, you want to be included, accepted, and embraced as a critical voice in every dialogue associated with. In autism. my own health care options. Mm -hmm. In my in the direction of my own health care. Everyone is screaming and shouting about healthcare freedom right now and denying us even basic fucking autistic health care. Basic fucking health care for autistic people over our developmental and our lifespans. People, they don't even have protocols in place in hospitals. We are denied entrance for basic fucking things. So remember that autism speaks what you stole from us. To my two neurotypical daughters, who were given, in addition to the clunky road every kid travels when growing up, they were given no choice but to take the oftentimes isolating a journey with autism each day. I don't wait, understand. Wait, wait, he's talking about his neurotypical daughters, right? That means non-autistic children. Yes, it's not autistic children. So they have to struggle with the isolating <coughs> journey of autism, too. I don't understand Everybody this suffers. concept of family. That right there, that concept of family, I have no understanding of it. Where I come from, family takes care of family. And that's your fucking job. And it's not fair or unfair. It is. And it is the way. So maybe these people have like too much fucking, I don't know, entitlement. But I've got family. You've got family coming down from... Uh, Dust Bowl era, family coming from, um, oh, I don't know, Trail of Tears, you got family coming from, you know, other things, and you read about women and mothers like Mother Jones, and they don't sound like these fucking wimps. What the fuck is this shit? I'm living it, and I don't sound like that. I don't throw my own pity parties at such a grand expense. 
Imagine how much money I could rake in if I threw my own fucking pity party like these people and fucking played you a violin. No. It's wrong. It's so very wrong and it's so dehumanizing and disgusting and ableist. I am so angry, Bill. Just take it. <coughs> Me too. Yeah. Me too. Oops. <laughs> um... So, his two, his neurotypical daughters, already our 11-year-old daughter, gently asks, Will my kids have autism too? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe? And? Okay. Um, she's not asking to be cowardly, she is asking because she is brave. What? How would most autism parents wish to answer this question? And would longing for the next generation to be able to opt out of autism be wrong? I don't know. You how know to what opting out of autism means? I love how you just fucking slicked right over that motherfucker. It's called a choice during pregnancy. Wow. What the fuck? Opt out of autism is abortion, you asshole. You're saying better dead than disabled, so why don't you just be fucking honest? I love my children, all of them equally. They are all incredible, and my wife and I have been blessed with an extraordinary life and marriage and more resources than most to absorb many of the daunting costs, emotional and financial, associated with our boys' unique challenges. As autism yeah, speaks... Yeah, he's got you as parents. That's fucking hardship there. As Autism Speaks enters its second decade of existence. Right. Maybe, perhaps, if we're lucky, the last. Uh, perhaps the snowflake paradox of being the parent of... Yeah, two we fierce, want you snowflakes to stop it. Thank you. Uh, being the parent of two fierce young daughters who already advocate for their brothers. My two magnificent and vastly different autistic sons he is apparently not teaching to advocate for themselves because you know, his daughters advocate for them uh, anyway, I, I, I could be reading too many, much in between the lines has led me to understanding that there is not one autism at all there are many autisms this is almost laughable deserving of our resources and compassion and individuals on the spectrum who deserve our respect and parity so some don't perhaps autism speaks will be even better as autisms speak I only know that today I sit on a more diverse Autism Speaks board that includes parents and... So he's still on the board of Autism Speaks? Yes, he is. Whoa! What did I do with the ashtray? What? Do you have the ashtray there? Stop. He's still on the board of Autism Speaks. Make it stop. Oh my god. This is Autism Speaks' apology to self-advocates. How did I fucking miss this in February? Oh my god, this is just unbelievable. Autistic people, autistic minority, and you're pulling every same argument you ever did. So, Autism Speaks board that includes parents and individuals of all backgrounds, including those on the spectrum. And the charity's standing and rating is higher and the outreach is stronger than ever. But just as we are all works in progress, so should every nonprofit charity organization. So you we can still always, Julia, thanks. We can always do better and grow. Um, okay, he still hasn't really said what Autism Speaks is doing differently and better. And have you heard an apology yet? Wow. Really? I can never unsay the words of my poem. It's getting close here those years ago. But, like both of my sons, I can learn to use my words better. You didn't. You just rubbed them all in all over the place and just fucking stomped it. There was nothing different there, you fucker. How uh -oh. dare you speak about my children the way you and, do. And, 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 and he... I, I'm not saying, saying this one I'm important. Starting sincerely with two for anyone in the advocate community who felt hurt by them. Forgive me. Um, okay, okay, there he goes. Two words. He said, he does say forgive me. Although I, 
there for was what? a lot of explanation and never really did say why you're sorry yeah. and what you learned was nothing so that was lip service that was bullshit that was the double speak we get from Bob Wright on vaccines on the day show oh they're so full of shit like this is spin 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 because they want to go inclusion now so they don't lose their money and their power like his two autistic boys he can say stupid things and he's going to have to learn to use his words better this guy that's what I read out of that sentence I, I was, wasn't going to say it but. he's just Billy, man, you have no business anywhere near my health care. Autism speaks. You have nowhere, any business near mine or my children's health care. None. We did not choose you. And you are not going to join us. And your ableist bullshit apology. Sorry, not sorry. still have the ghost whisperer. Remember that guy? Trying to be an advocate for autism speech, but he was speaking on behalf of his brother who was dead. It's like, that's a, f just, are you fucking kidding me? The ghost whisperer. I want to end you in all right now. That's a good one. So, I had a rough day with this one. Wow, these people are calling for inclusion. They're calling and putting puzzle piece stickers on everything. This is not an apology. This is a fuck you and a furthermore. But we're gonna say sorry so we get the headlines. But the fuck you and furthermore is in the details no one else but the autistic community is Can I add? Yeah. And, and what I get the most out of his long apology, <coughs> if you want to call it that letter, <coughs> is that there are two autisms. The one we give a shit about. There is the ones, there are high-functioning, productive members of society. Which they have made us into monsters. That are autism light. Autism light. And there's the dark non-functioning, useless members and of society the that autism has dead. stolen their lives from. Uh, fuckers. And never the twain shall meet. Huh. But all the same arguments, all the same shit, nothing has changed but that you called it an apology. It's extra insulting. This is a fucking hate group. Group. What happens to my child after I die? Well, autism speaks. Made sure it was incarceration, as care, or homelessness. So, um, oh, oh, number one, early cause of death, suicide. Number two, I'm told is murder. So, we've got uh, devastation out here in terms of anything for even basic health care for autistics, even understanding our developmental timelines and our age and our lifespan timelines um jesus y'all just finally fucking recognize autistic women we were unicorns and then you just discovered us and then you called us the lost generation we were protesting you the whole time you controlled the music industry you controlled the media industry you said what you wanted and you demolished anyone who got any sort of sound. Otherwise, and this is not an apology. But there are some things that were said in the comments that are worthy of sharing and will help with some of the, um, ugliness of this, but Bill, you were showing me a thing I want to share. Uh, the, uh, yeah. A little, little light-hearted meme real quick and then we'll go over here because this made me giggle. It was an ad for guitar. Let's see. It says, I think they meant to say acoustic guitar, but this right here is an autistic guitar for sale. So, I'm sure it's a rarity. I never saw autism and a guitar together like that before. You know what the uh, formal name of a guitar picture pick is? Mm. It's a tech drum.
<laughs> oh, oh no, he got a pun in there too. The guitar pick is actually called a plectrum. A plectrum. A plectrum. So, so he said the guitar is on the plectrum. <laughs> oh shit! No, I don't want to laugh. <laughs> It won't play with you. <laughs> Oops, someone said that guitar won't play with you. It'll play with me. You gotta know the secret autistic It plays handshake. by itself. It plays by itself. <laughs> we can parallel play. <laughs> <coughs> oh my. Alright, so let's look at some of these comments. Looks like uh, I got one in there. I'm sorry your ableism killed so many of us autistics. And I do mean that quite literally. We have studies that have come out that one show that the entire time of this blue life awareness uh, campaigns um, and this narrative that they took with that um, and the I Am Autism video um, launched this is, it's utterly horrific culture and hate wave towards autistics. It launched pity parties that were acceptable to be open. It promoted, uh, well, filicide. We have a huge problem with that. Um, and they apologize because autistics are so hard to take care of and this and that. So it's justifiable. It's understandable when we get murdered by our loved ones and our caregivers. So. Um, every year we have a memorial vigil for them. Um, there's a whole lot of ugly, these folks aren't talking about uh, 10K, a uh, missing program, the eugenics they're trying to find is the severe autism so they can prevent the autism, which is prevention of birth. So tell me again how that's not actually on T4 uh, upgraded to the new world, right? Um, Really, people, I don't know how much more plainly it has to be. They don't hide anything. They just spin it. How much more fucking plain does it have to be said? I don't know. But there's a lot of people out there who believe we are life unworthy of life, and they would want the choice to abort uh, because Billy Man scared them so bad. So, uh, thanks for uh, the increased hate all these years, and the increased death of my peers, and uh, the increased pressures of even on myself, and the lack of absolute fucking health care and mental health care for autistics that we suffer today. So, thank you for that. But Cal Montgomery is an activist, you might recognize the name, says here, your apology is not complex and layered. It is a self-justification wrapped up in falsities and the assertion that we aren't even capable of understanding it. Let's see, Amy Prop here says, I missed the I'm sorry part. I scrolled, but maybe I scanned all those words too fast. You know what I mean? I can see the needle before I can see the haystack. I love my brain. Huh, that was funny and cute and flippant all at the same time. Oh, that was a good one, Amy. You have me some more money. Yeah. When the I cats people. AU said, number one, this is not an apology. An apology is a simple, I am sorry I hurt you and tried to vilify part of your identity as a deep pathology. Not a trite apology followed by paragraphs defending what you and your hideous organization did. Number two, Thank you, Wendy. if you honestly think that that 100 days kit reflects growth in autism speaks and not rampant ableism, this explains the lousy fake apology. I think you have to pay for that too, I don't even think that's free. Parents need to be fired from leading the autism movement, and you are the best example I have seen. Your son may only speak one word, and I may have many. But if you are what passes for parental understanding in our diverse community, I am still more qualified than you are. 
Number four, is this even a real apology or is it bait to try to catch our community looking angry? It is so bad that I had to ask. If so, it didn't work. Number five, a real apology would be to step down from an organization you are obviously unqualified to lead. Sincerely, Wendy, a.k.a. Aspie Girl. Yeah, right. Aaron Akins adds, so I apologize, but here's why I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, Aaron, exactly. That's exactly the bullet point. I think that was the one bullet point we needed to see. Yeah. Thank you for um, making that succinct. The only thing you need to know about that, Aaron says... Evan Ekin, she said, so, I apologize, but also here's why I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Boom, bullet point, if you can't get through the big long thing. Succinct. Rosemary <laughs> Carrero AU says that even if this had been an apology, it would have been way overdue. Thankfully, the autistic community doesn't need or want anything from you. The damage you and Autism Speaks have done to us is beyond I'm sorry. There are no words to erase the abuse the damage and the history that we have had to endure because of people like you. You had a voice and you used it not just to make autism about everyone else, but the autistic, but you also marked us and that stain is still haunting us. We still suffer so badly. I don't understand what you're apologizing for. You're still making us suffer at the same time. What, what is that? He's the oppressor. Lindsay Moeller says, as Lindsay's talking, woo! And I know she might be in the house even. Someone that, I don't remember if I might have seen, yeah, I see her name, yeah, she's up there. She yeah. said, as someone who is a therapy student and who is autistic, I suggest you listen to the advocates. It seems to me like you want to complain about something that's incurable and genetic. Ha <laughs> ha Lindsay told you, bitch. Ooh, I like this one, Maxfield Sparrow. Ooh, hi Max. Yeah. says, if I can get the mouse to work, there we are. Ooh, that one's a little long. It's all right, read it, Max. But that is not only good. not an apology, it is aggressively attacking. How dare you assume what others can and cannot understand. <laughs> you say you cannot understand autistic, but then they tell us how we are. What the fuck is that anyway? How arrogant of you to say that only you understand the true nature of autism. How infantilizing of autistic adults you have to be to presume that we don't have the competence to understand that every autistic person is unique. And look how much you don't understand when you assume we are only fighting for the rights and well-being of people identical to us. In actuality, sir, that is what you have done and continue to do. Wear blinders and refuse to understand the perspective of people who are not like you or your sons. If, that's, if that was supposed to be an apology, you've failed miserably. I can't speak for any autist but myself, but I do not accept that non-apology as anything, but you assuaging your own guilt over taking a public action that you now realize has harmed your child. You still don't care about anyone beyond the confines of the four walls of your own home. And I am the one that, the, that you paradoxically dismiss as too articulate to understand. I'm sure my opinion doesn't actually matter to you, but if you thought you were apologizing to those of us who were deeply offended by your writing and fart hard against it, you have missed the mark every bit as much now as you did when you penned that pornographic pack of lies called I Am Autism. Bam. Mic drop. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a Whoa. Thank you, it, Mackie, for changing the new number. They always say 70 million, but we are more like 250 million. Strong worldwide, Autism Speaks can't even get our numbers right. And I'll add to that, Mackie says it will, is that, am I saying that right, Mackie? It may not yet be clear to you, but the 250 plus million strong global autistic community is aware of this joke of an apology, has soundly rejected it, and wish that you could gain the maturity to come to terms with your self-hatred and ableism. Right. Thank you, Mackie. Say it like you mean it. Yeah. Truth to the power. And what I'm uh, only reading some of these. Oh, Tara, where's Tara? Hundreds say? and hundreds and hundreds of comments, and they're all at least. I, I had scrolled through them earlier, and I think I saw a total of two that were supportive of them. Uh, you said, Tara, this is optics, or uh, Tara Psych says, this is optics or couching bad behavior and faux vulnerability. 
Autistic advocates are not shiny, independent diplomats. And this is alt autism, creating false dichotomies to portray a severe and a mild version of autism. I'm 39. I found it and helped to run one of the largest autistic advocacy sites in the world. I'm educated. I also couldn't read until I was in the fifth grade. I am covered in scars from self-harming. I hope she doesn't mind us reading. Oh, well, she posted it. Um, I started because I couldn't communicate with my parents. Not because I didn't have the ability, but because they didn't know how to listen to me. Ouch. I don't fault them so much because they didn't know I was autistic. In the 80s, where I grew up, only the most obvious cases were recognized, so they didn't understand me, and I felt hopeless. I'm covered in scars, and I, attempt, I started attempting suicide at age six. I also have always struggled with incontinence. I do not have good motor, motor coordination or interoception, inter, inter, inter so I can't always feel when I need to go. This is worse when I'm tired. I have such severe insomnia that no medication can help. I sleep only two to three hours per night on average. I have autoimmune conditions and epilepsy. I wear shoes with elastic laces because I can't tie my laces. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. I love clocks, but it makes takes me forever to read one. I can't always speak, and sometimes when I try, it comes out in a yell. Other times, it makes no sense, and it, it isn't what I had in my head. I've slammed my hands down on the table in front of me, or have made spontaneous bird sounds in faculty meetings. <laughs> oh, that. <Oops. laughs> I've been accused by professionals of being on drugs because I was rocking back and forth and had strange body language. I have a disability. I can't always control my body nor my mouth, and I have health problems. I am not fully independent. But none of that should matter. I should not have to show you my scars and tell you about things that cause you, a prejudiced person, to see me as less valuable, less credentialed, less expert, or less capable of relating to the struggles of both of your children. I'm a private person, very. And I should not have to be an exhibitionist putting on all my weaknesses on display so that you, a highly privileged person, should determine how much I'm worth listening to. Do you see how sick that is? And my mild best friend is dead from suicide. So is a man I loved for two decades. After homelessness and addiction for many years. By the way, autistics make up 10 to 60% of the homeless population worldwide. He was brilliant, agile, handsome, and had no speech impediment, so no one cared that he was autistic. He seemed so normal. Most of us have dead loved ones. There are mothers and fathers who read our site to learn about their dead children posthumously because they made the mistake of mild or independent or thinking that Asperger's diagnosis just meant quirky, and they paid for that mistake because of the damage of autism speaks and the ignorance it perpetuates. There are many autistic advocates who are relatively famous who had scatolia, smearing of feces, as children. There are non-autistic people who had that too. They are much less disabled than I am, but I never did that. The thing that makes this infuriating is that you damn well know all of this already. And this is a public demonstration of, I was wrong, but I had good reasons. You know, I'm also a parent of an autistic child about whom I will tell you nothing, because my child deserves privacy, dignity, and respect. But because I love my child more than I love my ego, I learn everything there is to learn from autistic parents who have been doing this for years, who have the child's best interests at heart, and who have large groups full of professional experts and other parents who are autodidacts, a village of collective experience, education, and creative autistic problem solving. And I also know how much I have suffered. I also have to dress down to cover all my scars. I cannot for one second without breaking down into sobs imagine thinking that my child stole anything from me or ruined anything from me. I sob because people like you are getting more of a platform than people who know how it feels to be autistic. So I I'm glad we found this comment. Um, so I work hard daily to make sure that my child never feels for one day what I felt every day of my life. I work hard to make sure that no one seemed, no one deemed severe because they're not speaking incontinent, intellectually disabled, or epileptic, feel that no one out there is happy that they're alive or wants to know that they're thinking. But most of my work, and all of the autistic advocates' work, is pushing against these harmful schools of thought that Autism Speaks uses billions of dollars to push. This is what autistic people want to hear from their parents. Quote, I messed up, I was wrong, I didn't understand, I made mistakes, and I let my ego and my fear cause me to make bad decisions. I shouldn't have done that. I love you the way you are. 
I listen to autistic people because they get you in ways that I never will, and I accept that now. I also will try much harder to help you understand me. I'll listen to you talk about your differences. I'll try and help you find the right people and methods to help you communicate. Your medical problems cause me sadness because I hate to see you suffer, not because that I hate that you'll be someone's burden. But your life is still valuable and I am happy to say have you exactly as you are." End quote. If you think that your child doesn't understand enough language to understand that, then you can try asking autistic advocates and bend, who bend over backwards and give their all in service to autistics and their families to help you find better ways. Because Bob Wright wants to end us, and he always has. This is a, quote, very fine people on both sides. Parents of autistic children are victims of autism speaks, not of autism. They're victims of not knowing that we're out here because we don't have a billion dollar annual budget to find a platform. They're victims of not getting the help and reassurances they need because you are not validating the ideas, not attitudes that kill autistics. Nothing is wrong with interdependence. Independence is not the gold standard of a happy life. You can call me severe, you can call me mild, you'd be wrong either way but it would be easy to use me as confirmation bias for either of the two. What you should call me is accurate, because that's what I want from you. That's what I want from Autism Speaks. Tell the autism community that they're right. Tell them they're going to be hired to replace the Autism Speaks board and executives. Ask them how to allocate those resources. Tell them that the puzzle piece is going to be replaced by a symbol that doesn't make them feel like they've seen a swastika, because it absolutely feels like that. Stop telling lies. Stop couching the truth in platitudes. Autism Speaks is responsible for a major humanitarian crisis and is complicit with eugenics and the active suppression of autistic people. Tara Syke? Yeah, I, uh, I, I, you left me with that words. Are they talking about mm -hmm. Tara's comment or the entire post? I don't know, I'm not going to reload to find out, but uh, hold on, let me do my work real quick. Um, Want to play song for us? Can you play um? Tom. Happy. More back there. Please. I I do.
and the comments are gone so we got silenced again it looks like he cut out the comments right Nice when autism speaks. Nice when... I don't even know what's playing right now. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Can we Alexa play ask her to play it? I just posted the apology screens on my wall. Do you see them? Did they come out okay? Yeah, grab intake and use however you want. Crop them. I didn't crop them as ready to refresh and lose it or something. So just please take them and use however you want them in your activism. I am going to break for a moment. Bill's going to bring us some music. I feel like that was some heavy shit. It's an incredible emotional labor. And of course, they shut everything down again. But he's got a song that I love by Tom Petty that I think is really benefiting such a nice but let me be right mm -hmm.
Ya. Okay. You ready to call it a night? Yes, please. Say goodnight, folks. <laughs>